Hello and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. Today I am using Arteza colored pencils and I wanted to compare the quality of the pencil as compared to Prismacolor pencils, which is what I generally use. I am using a, um, a Darcy stamp set that are so, so, so cute. I love these little, little things. Little, little chicken and a little bunny and it's kind of fitting for spring. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and share this video today. And I'm using Strathmore colored pencil paper. It's uh, a little thin on the thin side from what I'm used to working with as far as paper for cards. Um, and it does have a slight texture to it because it is pencil paper. It's not bright white. It's a little creamy looking, which is perfectly fine because I'm going to fussy cut some stuff out. So I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink, which is what I use for my Copic coloring as well. It's perfectly fine to use for colored pencils. Um, as you saw, the Arteza pencils come in a tin and they have the color, <clears throat> excuse me, the color chart is on the back of the tin and then there's three trays in the 72 count. I pulled all the trays out. Um, they come with a flat, the end of it isn't sharpened, it's actually flat sharpened. So I sharpened them before I used them so that I would have a point. They are very, they're not very hard pencils, but I didn't get, like with Prismacolor pencils, because they have such a soft core, when you're coloring with them, you'll get the stray, um, like pencil lead everywhere, even though it's not really lead, it's pigmented core. Um, it you, you don't get that necessarily with these pencils uh, they are hard pencils in that they because they don't crumble or anything like that and I really wanted to see if they were going to be an alternative to Prismacolor pencils because one of the biggest complaints that people have about Prismacolor isn't how they color it's that they are that they're crumbly and that the core breaks in them so easily they've had a price drop and from what i understand they are being manufactured in mexico now and the quality of them has deteriorated over the past year or so and i have gotten a couple of pencils that i've noticed that even the wood on them is cracked i've gotten like from my original set i've had uh, to replace a couple of pencils because i've used them and um, noticed that the the pencil wood part of it has um, been cracked and I've lost over half of a pencil because it the lead just came out of it it wasn't adhered I don't know so I was really really hoping that I would have a, a viable option to Prismacolor couple things I like about the pencils I like that they are pretty I mean they're just pretty pencils they are they have the color boldly printed on them in gold um, they kind of look like the another brand of colored pencils with the gold band at the bottom of them uh, there's a good range of color in the 72 set they're bright colors they sharpen very very well and you saw that middle one there as i'm coloring here you saw that middle one was that flat sharpen and i just put it in my pencil sharpener so i would get an actual sharp point on it they sharpen very very nice but i didn't think they layered very well so I didn't wasn't able to get much depth out of them because I color with colored pencils the same way that I would with Copic markers. I start with my darkest color and move into my lightest color. They, it, 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 there's enough differentiation in color that it's easy. Like on this headband right here, you'll see that where I don't overlap, I get a good variation of color, but. I'm not able to layer those colors on this paper and I'm making sure that I'm coloring with a super super light hand I have a very 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 heavy hand when it comes to uh, coloring with pencils and that kind of thing and I really have to pull myself back 
and I made sure and you'll see the difference in a few minutes when I start coloring with some of these blues and purples and even on the yellow um, where I'm doing my final coloring and they you'll see the difference in my hand the weight of the pencil on the paper I start out super 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 light but I could not get much depth with these um, because there's so much more filler in them than with a Prismacolor pencil that that waxy buildup comes much much quicker than if you're just coloring with than if you were coloring with the Prismacolor pencils. I'm not an expert at pencils by any stretch of the imagination but I can tell that even though the color vibrancy of these are pretty decent um, and for a general color if you're you're not used to using pencils um, if you don't color with pencils that often if you're gonna do if you're gonna use color pencils to add details to your marker like your Copic coloring to add some like hair details or get in some really really tiny places and add some depth in there I, these more these pencils would be perfect for that and I'm actually going to demonstrate that uh, probably in another video a little bit down the road when I get a chance to film that um, but there's no reason that these pencils wouldn't serve that kind of purpose if you want to learn more uh, do and learn and do more of with colored pencils and really treat those kind of more like you would your Copic coloring I wouldn't recommend these pencils I would go with either the Prismacolor pencils or a, a different artist set of pencils and see how those work for you you're gonna spend a little bit of money if you want a good quality pencil these come at a decent price point to start learning pencils and would be probably good for a high school art class or even a college art class um, but as far as if you want to do anything really really nice with them uh, there it's just a too tad too much filler in them I was impressed with the color range and the vibrancy of the color uh, most of the time when you have a colored pencil that has a lot of fillers in it then you don't get that color vibrancy it the colors seem to pick up more of the background if that makes sense because they're a little bit more transparent because that that filler in there to make the the color and the color part of it the pigment adhere together that tends to be a little um that, that tends to be a clear product most of the time but it, it quote waters down the the vibrancy of the pigment in the pencil and I did a lot of layers on that blue cupcake and I did a lot of layers on my little chick here and you can see where I go back in right here and I'm really trying to get that shadow to show back up maybe if I would used a darker color it would have shown up better but I just wasn't happy with it it just didn't I didn't mind the texture in the paper I love the texture on pencil coloring um, and if you I, I didn't try with like baby oil or anything like that to smooth any of this out and here you can really tell where I applied pressure to even the middle part of that out and make it a brighter yellow um, I just wasn't thrilled with the results of, of this but that could be because I really really like the smooth blend of Prismacolor pencils so if you like I said if you were trying to learn how to do this that might be something that you you check into just to see if you like pencils or not so have a set of Faber-Castell pencils that I bought back at Christmas when they were on sale on Amazon that I haven't had a chance to use yet I haven't even opened the tin yet shame on me but I'll be reviewing those here in the next couple weeks in comparison to Prismacolor as well and I'll throw up another video about Prismacolor pencils I've done one in the past I don't remember if I posted it over on YouTube or not I might not have but I have done a little bit of a comparison previously um, they were I mean the, the card turned out really cute and and the the critters were cute and it's okay not my favorite pencils in the world to use though 
so far my Prismacolors, they're, they color, they just, they're just pretty. They're just pretty more uh, pencils to color with. Anyway, um, let's talk a little bit about the stamp set that I used. It's from Darcy's. They, Darcy's makes some super, super cute. If you're not familiar with the stamp line, they are little, uh, like, four by four, three by three stamp sets. And there's like usually two critters on it and some really punny sayings. Uh, absolutely adorable, adorable, adorable stamp sets. Uh, they're not the easiest things to find on, for some reason online. And I know that um, Simon Says Stamp has them and I think Ellen Hudson has them too. Uh, but they are super, super cute. They're super easy. There's no dies for them, but as you can see, they're super easy images that you can fussy cut. I don't mind fussy cutting these out because the images are just pretty straightforward and really, really cute. And you know how much I don't like fussy cutting, just not my favorite thing to do. And But it, these images are so easy to cut out. It's not a big deal at all. And all of hers are like that, And but they're, there's one that's like um, ketchup and... Um, pickles and a hamburger and a french fry set and they're still just itty bitty little square um, stamp sets they have really good price points on them and they are so 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 stinking cute um, I've done a couple of cards with them and given to friends and they just think they're absolutely adorable especially because they have the super punny sayings on them so we're gonna fussy cut these out really quick and then we're gonna make a really cute card um, overall impression of the Arteza pencils um, you know they're a good starter set I think but if you want something that's going to be a quality image uh, let's say you're coloring something to frame for a friend or something like that then this would not be the option that I would choose for if you're just interested in adding like I said some details and that kind of thing to your marker coloring to get some real depth in an area um, these might be a good choice if you're if you're just using them just for general everyday coloring to color in a coloring book these would be great for that but if you want quality I think you would either go with the Faber-Castell even though I have never used them I've seen how they color um, and Giannis Makula has some really great 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 videos on coloring with those uh, with the fiber costel pencils and then of course the Prismacolor pencils are amazing as well there's a lot of videos out there and blog articles on how bad they break and how to basically remelt the core on the inside of them and I'm gonna say do that at your own risk um, so in my last video, I forgot to outline my little washing machine to hide the white core. I remembered to do it on this one. It's This is an old, old, old marker. It's a Zig Writer that's a pigment pen. And it does a great job of outlining. And when you're doing stuff like this, don't use a Copic marker. Uh, it will bleed into your image. If you have trouble staying on the, the edge of the image hold the image either put it face down on a piece of paper and trace around the edge of it and with the marker and you'll get the edge or hold it in your hand in your non-dominant hand face it away from the marker and hold the marker perpendicular to the image and run it around kind of like what I did um, I pulled out some doodlebug paper to and a Spellbinders frame die set that I picked up and to finish off this card. So while I'm finished off this card, I said that this is a great spring card and it is. It's a beautiful little, it, it turned out a really pretty little card. Um, it snowed here on Friday. Today is March the 11th. It was 20s and 30s with wind chills in the teens last week and yesterday was Sunday and it was 70 degrees outside. Chip went riding his motorcycle yesterday and it snowed here on Friday. It 
crazy weather crazy weather uh, I think that Virginia has invented the fifth season and it's called the whatever comes about season it's crazy and because of that my allergies and sore throats and everything has been wackadoo plus the time change who doesn't love a good time change Ugh, time change I don't know why we still do it I know why we did it back in the day but I don't know why we still do it it's kind of crazy um, back to the card so I went ahead and pulled out a background stamp and I'm just gonna stamp this directly on my card base I'm using 110 pound Nina solar white for my card base and this I will have all the products linked below as I usually do um, and I pulled out some Altenew blue ink I love Altenew ink and then I'm just going to adhere everything together now I mentioned that pencil paper is kind of on the thin side for the ones that I used here for this um, to combat that I went ahead and put scotch foam tape because scotch foam tape is pretty stiff stuff um, whether it's got the backing on it or not it's some pretty pretty powerful little stuff there so I went ahead and put some scotch foam tape on the back of this and popped it up and then I'm going to heat a white heat emboss on black cardstock the sentiment from the stamp set and put that on the bottom of the card here you'll notice it's a little off center and that's okay that doesn't have to be perfect it does not have to be 100% perfect at all does it drive me crazy a little bit but I have to let it go I have to because if I had to center absolutely everything all the time um, perfectly mm -mm, nope I'm not that person gotta let it go so I put these little two cuties together on the front of my card and put them down and have that scotch foam tape and they hold up just fine they because I put some put that scotch foam tape really close to the edge and made sure it covered everything it's just perfect if you really wanted to you could adhere those that pencil paper down to a piece of a little bit lighter weight like layering weight card stock that's like 65 pounds or so and cut around it and have that behind it and it would give you enough stability to and, and it would look nicer as well so you could do that too if you wanted to so I'm just going to white heat and boss this and then I'm going to put this on the bottom edge of the card and that will call it done if you have any questions uh, about the Arteza pencils uh, just leave me a comment down below I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have head over to my blog and subscribe to my newsletter at jillcamerocreations.com also subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and like my videos hit the little like button there I would love to hear from you tag me on social media at jillcamerocreations.com and that's gonna about wrap this card up a little foam tape on the sentiment and we are gonna call it done see and that's so cute cupcake you make me so happy so 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 cute well thank y'all so much for joining me today y'all have an amazing day and we'll catch you on the next one